HMT watches. The timekeepers to the nation. On the rare occasion, I post this watch in a photo or video, an unusual amount of curiosity is piqued. That's understandable. HMT isn't a brand you see often on Instagram or YouTube. And this watch in particular is unusual. HMT, Hindustan Machine Tools. The company was founded by the Indian government in 1953 and in 1961 began making watches in a partnership with Citizen. HMT was the very first watch manufacturer in the rapidly growing country of India. As a result, HMT watches became wildly popular in India, selling tens of millions of watches. By 1975, HMT was producing all of its own components, even mainsprings, shock resistors, and hairsprings. HMT timepieces were common gifts for memorable events like graduations and weddings. An entire generation of Indians grew up with these watches, and this, the Janata, was the most popular line. There are many variations of the Janata, but I picked this because of its use of the Devanagari script, the alphabet that's used in Hindi and Sanskrit. This Janata is a reserved 36 millimeters in diameter and very slim, thanks to the manually wound in-house movement. Like so many smaller watches, when you first put it on, it feels dainty. But after just minutes, 36 millimeters feels like the perfect watch size. Brains are funny things. During the 1980s, the quartz crisis hit HMT hard. So hard that it never really recovered. For decades, the Indian government tried to keep the manufacturer alive, which is how I came to hear of HMT via this 2015 Wall Street Journal video. The clock on the wall reads 7.05, but here at the HMT watch factory in Ranibha, India, time seems to stand still. The company has been producing its classic wind-up wristwatches the same way for decades. The government, which owns the factory, says it's putting together a plan to shut the doors. For India's legendary HMT wristwatches, time may be running out. As soon as I watched that video, I hopped onto eBay and bought this watch. I've been told that it's a redial, or perhaps assembled from spare HMT parts. I don't really care. I didn't buy it for its authenticity. I bought it to remind myself of this once celebrated watch manufacturer, and of India, a place I love, and that the only constant is change.